Okay. Okay, this week we're going to um, look into uh, second part on highway capacity analysis. But now we focus uh, for basic freeway segment capacity analysis. For previous lecture, so we already cover for uh, multi-lane highway segment. Eh? Just... Uh, I think it's the continuity eh, for the uh, analysis for freeway uh, type of the facilities. Okay, uh, basic freeway section, uh, freeway segment. Uh, we can uh, some sometimes we call section, sometimes we call segment eh, because uh, we analyze for the segmentation or section. Eh. Then uh, outside influence ramp or weaving section. Uh, okay, later I will um, explain about the ramp and weaving sections. Okay, design conditions, uh, physical qualities of basic uh, freeway section uh, as a lane width, shoulder clearance, and density interchange on ramp and off ramps. Eh? That's part of the uh, design condition. Eh? Okay, this is the particular type of the uh, freeway uh, uh, facilities. Eh? Okay, uh, sometimes uh, also we can uh, use uh, expressway, eh? lebuh raya, eh? expressway. Uh, kalau multi lane is for uh, lorong berbilang eh lebuh raya uh, berbilang lorong ataupun uh, multi lane eh. this one is freeway which is represent for expressway class of the uh, highways eh okay typically we have uh, this kind of the uh, view for this particular freeway uh, facilities okay they have a lot of the um, travel lanes and also been divided eh Okay, uh, okay, this is the, 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 the typical of facility for ramp and weaving. Eh? Ramp is uh, for facilities going out, going in uh, to attach the uh, freeway segment eh? or freeway section. And weaving is part of the system that uh, the driver or the traffic going to have uh, the changing of the uh, option eh? to going out, going in uh, for uh, any direction they want to uh, join eh? so uh, if you look the typical this one so the weaving section is the section eh? uh, in freeway itself eh? but the ramp is uh, just the tap eh? uh, or the connecting one eh? okay this one eh? uh, okay the, the bottom one lower one eh? so going out going in eh? for attached to the uh, uh, freeway segment. Eh? So this one is the the, 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 the typical of the cross sections uh, within the medians uh, divided by a barrier or root barrier. Sometimes they have uh, this typical uh, concrete barrier or they using gut rail barrier, eh? steel, eh? steel barrier or sometimes they use the cable eh? the cable link. Eh? Okay, they have a travel link uh, three or more and also they have a uh, shoulder or emergency lanes. Okay, the best condition under which uh, full, full capacity of basic freeway segment is achieve good weather, good visibility, and no incident or accidents. The, uh, for the analysis procedure in this chapter, we're going to based on condition assumed to exist. Eh? So we, we have to uh, consider uh, this kind of the scenario or situation eh, before we're going to do the analysis further. Eh. So this is some sort of the ideal eh, ideal or supposed to be uh, the way we're going to operate to get the uh, the real operating of the analysis for this particular freeway facilities. Eh. Okay, uh, next we move to uh, similar like Mati Lane. They also have uh, base uh, condition or ideal conditions with minimum length of 3.6 okay right shoulder uh, 1.8 and median is 6.0 okay sometimes they have uh, uh, more wider eh, compared this one but this is the, the, the minimum one okay uh, traffic stream composed of uh, entirely from uh, passenger car but still have uh, any other classes such as uh, medium vehicles and heavy vehicles and also some we got uh, recreational vehicles eh? okay having uh, five or more lanes for one directions 
uh, interchange spacing 3 km or greater. Uh, okay, in this particular uh, facilities, uh, freeways, so they don't have any access point, eh, but they have interchange eh, to going out uh, from the freeway uh, segment or section. Eh. Level terrains, great, no greater than 2%. This one is uh, designed as ideal condition, but sometimes the road is going to steep or hilly. So obviously the reality is more than 2%, eh? but this is the, the ideal condition to be analyzed. Driver population composed principle of regular uh, user of the facilities. So this is the, uh, the, the setting one. Eh? So we're going to assume uh, almost driver population uh, familiar with the facilities. So we're going to have a uh, 1.0 uh, value, but sometimes they provided eh? they provided the value. So we have to use that particular value. Eh? Okay, uh, the base condition represents highway operating, uh, high operating level, which is free flow speed at uh, 110 or greater. Eh? So we know that uh, speed limit for the highway, for the expressway, eh? especially eh? freeway or expressway, eh? uh, is at 110 eh? for the national speed limit. Eh? Okay, the limitation of the methodology. So, we are not going to cover this particular special zone or special areas. Eh? Especially, they are having a special lane reserve for high occupancy vehicles. Uh, so, this is the uh, quite differ of the, of the facilities. Eh? But, it present uh, for uh, freeway segment eh? or freeway sections. Truck lane, climb lane. So, we not cover this kind of typical uh, special lane for analyze. Extended bridges or tunnel segment, uh, segment near to toll plaza, uh, facilities freeway below uh, 90 km per hour or access or exit uh, exceeding 120 km per hour. Eh? So typically we not we are not going to cover these particular areas because we uh, assume there's is uh, the idea uh, situation suppose like that like this one. Eh? Okay, this is the procedure or methodology. Uh, to uh, calculate or determine step by step until we obtain the level of service. Eh? Okay, quite typical with the multi-lane uh, methodology. Uh, we we going to have input from the FFS or BFS volume, geometric data, and then as adjustment for the basic freeway speed, uh, including this parameter. Eh? Uh, quite typical with the multi-lane, but here we have a little changing or the little uh, factor eh? uh, in multi lane they consider to have access point but for freeway they have interchange interchange density eh? uh, the facilities that um, driver or traffic uh, going to uh, have their uh, exist eh? from uh, particular uh, freeway facilities eh? and also they have uh, lateral clearance and the rest for volume is typical similar like a multi lane then we have to compute uh, FFS and flow rate then determine the uh, density and to obtain level of service eh? okay in terms of the uh, free flow uh, speed uh, so we consider uh, the traffic uh, flow up to uh, 1,300 uh, passenger car per hour per day. Uh, this one is considered low, eh? but the highest one more than 2,000. Eh? Okay, uh, okay. To determine uh, or to to measures eh, the free flow speed. So if you had the data from the field, for well, easily we can going to have uh, this one. Eh? So no need extension of this function or formula eh? if you have if you do the activity to collect the speed data from the site eh? if not available or not possible uh, to obtain this ffs free flow speed so we can still using the estimation value eh? uh, like uh, similar to multi lane highway do we have 85 percent speed we have spot posted speed limit uh, then that's the procedure or the method eh? but for this particular freeway section so we're going to have this kind of the uh, estimation only eh? for bffs eh? which is 110 for urban 120 for rural so please remember this particular two 
uh, type eh? uh, to replace or to represent this uh, BFFS basic free flow speed eh? so we only have a two category eh? for uh, freeway uh, section analysis eh? uh, differ from multi-lane eh? we have a kind of 85 percentile we have posted speed limit Okay, this one we have, we only have uh, this two uh, this two typical one, eh? uh, hundred and ten for a burn, hundred and twenty for rural. Just replace for or replace for BFFS, eh? and the rest uh, still uh, similar to the uh, multi-lane, eh? multi-lane analysis. We have uh, factor for lane width, factor for lateral clearance, factor for a number of lane, and also uh, interchange density, eh. So if we refer this particular table, so that I have provided this one. Okay. Okay, the speed flow curve or this normal graph is quite similar eh? from um, multi-lane capacity. Uh, but still, we, we're going to look at this value. Eh? Uh, some they got uh, differ, some they got very similar. Uh, and also they have a uh, different table value eh? but they have a quite similar factor like this one eh? number uh, no. adjustment or reduction speed for number uh, lane width eh? so 3.6 to 3.0 eh? so if the lane uh, is uh, narrow compared to the highest one of course the speed going to affect it more eh? okay this one for shoulder uh, right shoulder lateral clearance uh, which is uh, from the uh, shoulder, eh? shoulder width. Eh? So in uh, Martilin, they have 3.6, eh? the highest value to consider no effect in terms of reduction speed. But this particular uh, freeway section, they consider 1.8 eh? as the higher value that going to have no effect. Eh? So they have different also the number of lanes per direction, eh? two lane, three lane, four lane and more than all in, eh? Okay, this one for number of lane, so or still for uh, per one direction. Eh? Okay, if you're having uh, four lane facilities for freeway segment, but we for analyze we, we analyze per direction. So for four lane as uh, freeway uh, highway, let's example, eh? so we taken only two lane eh? numbers of per direction. So the speed going to affect 7.3 uh, kilometer speed. Eh? Okay, take note here. Eh? So we have here, if for rural freeway segment, so they don't have any uh, speed reduction eh? for a number of lane, uh, for number of lane factors. Eh? Okay, these are for interchanges, uh, which is FID okay, uh, factors. So we have interchange density eh? within per kilometer. Eh? Remember this one. Eh? The interchanges, interchanges the city is within per kilometer. Eh? Remember this one, per kilometer. Okay, uh, the data going to show later. So how we talk, to consider interchange per, per kilometer. Eh? We continue, eh? but okay, the one what? The one is, okay, this one later, eh? the equivalent factor. Okay. Okay, now we move to this exercise, very simple one. Okay, an existing six-lane freeway in urban area has the following physical characteristics, which is 3.6 lane uh, and lateral clearance, which is outer shoulders, 0 0.6 meter, and interchanges density of one interchanges per 0 0.5 kilometers. Eh? Okay, now calculate the free flow speed for this segment. Okay, remember this formula. Okay, you can do the, the calculation uh, activity now. Just a simple one. Okay, determine BFFS, FL uh, uh, lane width factor, lateral clearance, uh, factor for number of lane, and ID. Okay, uh, using that particular formula, we can uh, determine the FF. S, eh? Okay, look at this particular solution. First, if you read this one, uh, six lane freeway in urban area. Eh? Okay, looking at, at this particular. 
urban area eh? uh, so that's the point eh? okay the land width is 3.5 okay this one is FLC and this one for FID eh? okay remember eh? this one for factor for land width this one factor for lateral clearance So this one factor for ID. Eh? Okay, now we have to uh, choose uh, which is uh, urban. Eh? Urban is 110. So FFL, if you refer to the uh, uh, table, 3.5, consider 1. Eh? If you can refer this table again. Say, we can refer to the lane width. Eh? 3.5, which is here. Eh? 1.0. Eh? Okay, next. Uh, letter clearance, eh? which is uh, 0 0.6. So, you still can refer this table to get lateral clearance okay the highway is six lane eh? so refer to this column eh? because the highway is six lane three lane per direction so we having 6.0 the uh, shoulder width right shoulder width so now we obtain the value of 2.6 eh? 2.6 okay next um, Okay, factor adjustment for number of lane. Eh? Okay, 4.8. Okay, 4.8. Eh? Okay, uh, per direction is 3 lane. Okay, we have now 4.8. Eh? Okay, next. ID, which is 12.1. If you read these uh, questions, Interchanges density of one interchange per kilometer. So if you refer this particular formula, a particular table, interchange density factors, eh? so the interchange is supposed to be per kilometer. Eh? But the question now, they give half kilometer, eh? which is, you have to double this one. Eh? You have to double this one to be one kilometer for refer to the table. Eh? If one kilometer, one kilometer, so suppose the interchange density to be two. So that is why if you refer here, there is not two interchanges per kilometer. The highest one they got 1.2. So consider above 1.2 in terms of the number of interchange capacity, uh, interchange density. So we consider the highest one is 12.1. Uh, that's mean uh, within. Uh, one kilometer they have more than one uh, this value they have typical like, like this one eh? they typical within one kilometer they have only one interchanges uh, more uh, yeah typical maybe in in distance of uh, 500 or 800 they have one interchange but th this particular uh, rate so they have more eh? which is one kilometer they have more uh, interchange uh, location or interchange facilities. Eh? Okay, then we do the calculations. Okay, uh, 1010 uh, deduct by 1.0, 2.6, 4.8, 12.1. So we obtain 8.5 kilometer per hour in terms of FFS. So you have any question for this particular uh, exercise? Okay, next uh, to de determine flow rate eh? flow rate okay uh, this is quite typical and similar to multi lane capacity multi lane highway analysis capacity okay uh, still we have uh, PO factor number of lane uh, factor for heavy vehicles driver populations okay uh, okay this particular freeway they have range of uh, yeah quite quite similar but a, a little bit deeper 6.8 to uh, no 
0.8 to 0.95 in terms of PL factors. Okay, uh, this one quite typical. Uh, also refer to uh, Matilin capacity analysis. Okay, we now we move to this particular exercise. A six-lane freeway have flow of 3,500 vehicles. Uh, this flow consists of 180 trucks per hour and 200 RVs, eh, recreational vehicle, uh, 350 passenger bus, and reminder is passenger car. Eh. So, uh, calculate the heavy vehicle adjustment factor for a segment or section of 1.8 km. This freeway at 4 grade. Uh, uh, value eh, or gradient eh, for that particular section. Eh. Okay, uh, if you refer this particular attachment or table, okay, remember here. Eh, so we have a typical terrain which is level, rolling, and terrain uh, mountainous. Eh. But for that particular exercise, they giving upgrade. Eh. And also they have uh, downgrade. Eh? Ah. So they have a situation where they consider that section to be hilly or downhill. Uh, eh? So but this question refer to upgrade, which is uh, this particular table. Eh? So remember, eh, this particular table, they have uh, truck and buses and actually vehicle. Eh? Uh, similar like this particular three type of terrain, they have truck and bus and recreational vehicle also as well. Uh, but this not considered as a grade or percent of the hilly section road. Eh? This is quite similar, uh, quite typical level, rolling and mountainous. Eh? Okay, back to this uh, exercise. Okay, first, we have to calculate the percentage. Eh? Percentage. Okay, we have total of vehicle three thousand five hundred. Okay, for the truck one hundred and eighty, and for the for the bus three hundred and fifty. So here we can combine truck and bus. We can combine as one. Uh, consider category of uh, heavy vehicle, and the other one is recreational vehicles, eh, which is two hundred, eh, two hundred. Okay, we obtain here six uh, percent. So if you refer this particular table. Okay, for the bus and the truck, which is at one or fifteen percent, okay, and RV is six uh, percent. Eh? So back to this particular table. So with fifteen uh, percent here, eh? refer to this column. Fifteen eh? percent. Eh? We have uh, value for bus and truck. Fifteen eh? percent. Eh? Okay, the upgrade is four. Eh? So four here. Eh? Not here, eh? because this greater than four, but this range over or greater three up to four, so we still to refer this one four here, eh? so fifteen four. Okay, the length of the section is one point eight, which is here. Length of section, eh? if we back to this question. Length of the section is 1.8 at 4% grade. So back to this table. Okay, for refer to this one first, eh? ET, eh? Truck and buses, eh? 15% here. Uh, 4% here. 1.8 is somewhere here. So we have value of 2.5 ET, eh? 2.5. Okay, for the recreational vehicle. We refer this table, eh? RV. So ER, eh? Okay, uh, which is 6%. Okay, 4% uh, the upgrade road or hilly road. So the section is uh, over 1, uh, 0.8, eh? which is 1.8. Consider this one over 0.8. And we obtain still the same value, eh? 2.5. So 6%, 4%. 1.8 so we obtain 2.5 so that here we have 
2.5 and 2.5 for bus and truck and 2.5 for regional vehicle. So now we can uh, solve the factor of the vehicle. Eh? So we key in the value. Remember, eh, this one is PT. So PT is not the value from here, eh? uh, 15 but 0 0.15. Okay, there is still uh, some students they do the calendar eh? mistake. They had taking this 5, uh, 15 here. No, 0 0.5. Because here we have decimal value and not percent. Eh? Okay, 2.5, did that one. Okay, 0 0.06, this one, eh? not 6, eh? 0 0.06. Okay, 2.5, did that one. So we have a value of 0 0.76, eh? the value of factor, heavy vehicle factor. Eh? Okay, driver's uh, population, uh, if they don't have any value uh, given, so we can still be using 1.0. Uh, also, the range of this one. Eh? Uh, to refer the question, they, if they provide, use this particular value. If not, consider as 1.0. Okay, the determination of level of service, similar, similar to the multi lanes, which is we calculate the FFS, then we move to calculate the uh, VP, which is estimated, uh, no, adjustment volume, uh, and then calculate the density. From there, we can use the nomograph to determine the the specific eh, range for level of service from the two value, eh, speed and uh, the flow, and also refer the third value from density. Eh. Okay, we move to this particular uh, Questions or example. Okay, uh, the existing four-lane freeway, rural area. Eh? Okay, remember this one, rural area. Where you see geometry, roaring terrain, 110 speed eh? limit. Eh? Okay, I just want to highlight this one. Eh? Okay, you have to know this one. Eh? Four-lane, rural area, rolling terrain. Okay, uh, okay. Or we can highlight this one. Eh? Okay, this one is speed limit. So nothing to do with speed limit eh? for rural or uh, no for freeway segment because we consider only the area eh? rural and urban. For Martin, yes. If you given 85 percentile, we have to consider to be that three. If they given post limit, uh, look at the range of speed limit. Eh? Whether to add 11 or to add 8. Eh? But for rural, uh, for freeway analysis, nothing to do with speed limit. Eh? They just highlight the speed limit, but nothing to do with speed limit. Okay, given extra info, two lane is direction with 3.3 .3 lane with 5% truck, rolling train, okay, uh, 0 0.92 PL factor, 0 0.6 electoral equivalence, 0 0.6 for interchange density, and 2000 volume, eh, per hour volume. Okay, uh, commuter traffic. Uh, this one, if they put commuter traffic, consider 1.0 PL factors. Eh? Uh, no, level uh, populations. F, uh, FP. Eh? Okay, what is uh, level three during this P hour? So this question is very straightforward. Just to determine the level of service. So we can uh, calculate as the normal procedure. Eh? Uh, so some, some patients, they got uh, inverse calculation. Eh? Later, we're going to see that particulars. Uh, specific example. Eh? Okay, first we can calculate the VP eh? adjustment for volume. Okay, this this the formula quite typical, similar to the Martin analysis. Okay, we have two thousand value. We have uh, zero point nine two for PL factor. Okay, remember this one number of lane. Okay, some student they quite confused and still do the mistake. This and refer not the total total number of the lane eh? but per direction eh? so we have per direction per direction eh? so in this particular area we have if you look this one two lane eh? two lane per direction So here we have two lane per direction. Eh? So we not going to add. Eh? But two lane per direction. Eh? So two, not four. Eh? Two per direction. Okay, F, 
uh, HV, which is uh, factor for vehicle, and FP, I just mentioned, the question given is traffic commuter is regular traffic, eh? so 1.0. So to calculate the uh, factor for heavy vehicles, so they don't, don't give any info for regular vehicles, so we just omit this one. So we just omit the PR, eh? no need, eh? because they don't have a value. Eh? So this one, 5% uh, for uh, bus and truck. Okay, uh, at uh, rolling terrain, eh? Okay, the question given a rolling terrain, 2.5. You can refer the table. And now we obtain 0 0.93, eh? Okay, now we can calculate the VP, eh? VP, then we insert this value. Okay, now we obtain uh, 1,169. Passenger car power per lane, eh? For VP, eh? Now we have... We calculate the F, F, S, eh? free flow speed. <coughs> so remember, eh, the question given at rural area. Eh? So rural area, the speed for V, F, F, S is 120. Eh? For urban, 110. So don't bother about the speed limit. Eh? We're talking about two categories of V, F, F, S. So remember, rural is 120. So now we have obtained from this particular info which is number of lane 3.3 .3, so you refer this particular table so now we have 3.1 for this particular factor lateral clearance 3.9 so for rural remember eh, if you refer the table for lane number rural is zero eh? so there is not affected uh, the reduction speed for number of lane that's why zero okay factor for id interchange interchange density interchange density is 0 0.6 you if you refer the table 0 0.6 for for that particular reduction for speed is 3.9 so now you obtain a value of vffs uh, 109 eh? so uh, density density you can consider this formula eh? d equal to v over s okay s you can re uh, refer this particular table uh, re reference but okay wait okay this one eh? if the value stated less than uh, uh, VP so this one eh? less than this uh, 3000 uh, 100 deducted by F uh, 15 FFS. So consider this value similar this one. Eh? So in this particular exercise, if you uh, check the uh, capacity, this one is consider as equal to FFS. Eh? So here we consider as is F F S eh? So now you can replace eh? or you want to maintain is okay but if you want to replace this one okay you can replace eh, with F F S it's nothing wrong eh? you can replace this one F F S eh? Okay, so VP, uh, this one VP, eh? not V, eh? VP. Okay, VP, 1,169 uh, divided by 109.1, so you obtain 11, eh? So if you refer the table, so you're going to get level switch B, eh? Remember, eh? They have a chart from 7, we have 11, we have 16. This one is 7, eh, isn't it? Density, eh? This one 11, this one is, they have a numbers, eh? a 16, a 22, for the B itself is 11. Eh? So between over 7 until 11. Eh? So this one we obtain 11. Eh? So consider level of switch is B. Eh? Remember this one, eh? the gnomograph. Uh, 
Okay, you have any question for this particular exercise? Okay, you can follow the exercise. I hope you can follow the exercise. Eh? Okay, we're going to proceed. Okay, let's have this uh, second example. Eh? Okay, we have a um, new urban freeway is being designed. Uh, so the question is now is not determined about mobile service, eh? but lane. Eh? So write, write, uh, read this particular question. Eh? Now we have been the question, how many lanes? Eh? Okay, this one. Eh? Uh, so the question now is not about the level of service, eh? but how many lanes? Eh? To achieve level of service D. Eh? So they putting level of service inside. Eh? So the target level of service is there. So they give information for 1000 vehicle per directions. Okay, 0 0.85. Uh, eight five factor level terrains uh, it changes zero point nine per kilometer uh, fifteen percent truck and three percent for RV and three point six lane width and three uh, one point eight for lateral trailer. Right? Okay, the first one uh, we can straight uh, do the uh, calculation for adjustment uh, volumes. Okay, uh, first we have to determine the uh, factor for heavy vehicles. So in this particular question, they have two categories. Eh? You see, 15% uh, for truck, 3% for RVs. Eh? Okay, that's why they have a complete calculation here. Eh? Okay, uh, FHV is for 0 0.92 uh, value. Okay, for this particular question, you have to do the calculation backward. Or inverse, eh? Okay, now we use try and error, eh? Try and error because we are requested to determine number of lane. Eh? Remember here formula they have they supposed to provide number of lane, but this particular question asking about number of lane. That's why we using try and error. Eh? So first we start with four lane option, eh? Four lane that's mean both direction, eh? Facilities for freeway, eh? both direction is four lane. But for analysis, we're going to have direction, eh? per direction. That's why they, they we start with N is two. Eh? So now we start with N equal to two. Not four. Eh? Four, you can uh, supply for eight. Uh, lane per direction uh, each, uh, both direction eh? this one for lane but per direction is number lane is 2 eh? per direction eh? per direction per direction per direction eh? okay, per direction is n equal to 2 okay, now we obtain 2544 passenger car per lane uh, per hour per lane. So remember, we have to check the capacity. Eh? Because what? Okay. Uh, four lane option is not acceptable for this particular 2,554. So the capacity only at 2,400. Eh? Okay. Okay. Uh, if you refer this particular table, so now you can uh, refer the normal graph. The note in normal graph, they put the capacity, eh? 2,400, 2,050, 2,000, uh, 2,300, 2,250. Eh? Refer to the flow speed. Okay. That is why 2,500 is exceeding, eh? So in this particular question, so we exceed in eh? VP exceed in the capacity. Eh? Capacity is seven. Eh? So we cannot serve the uh, traffic eh? or the volume is seven eh? from the this particular facility for four lane. Eh? 
Okay, we have the lean capacity problem. Eh? Because the maximum capacity is supposed 2,400. This one from this particular provided uh, suggestion lean cannot serve. Eh? So we have to do the second trial. Eh? So now we calculate for uh, six lane. So now six lane we consider number of lane not not six eh, but three. Okay, number of lane now to be three. Okay, that's why we have here three. Eh? Okay, repeat the calculation. Four thousand uh, divided by the particulars formula, then we obtain one thousand six hundred. Uh, 1,696 in terms of VP. Now VP can serve the capacity eh? because the maximum capacity now is 2,400. So we have less capacity. Eh? Uh, no, less uh, VP. So here we meet the capacity eh? 2,400. Eh? So we meet the capacity here. So we can proceed the calculation. Eh? We can proceed the calculation. Okay, now we compute uh, for the FFS. So this particular area we consider as rural. Ah uh, no, suburban. Uh, suburban is still under rural because not urban. Eh? Suburban. Eh? Okay. Uh, factor for uh, lane width zero, no effect, uh, and lateral clearance also no effect. Okay, but Fn, eh? if you refer the table uh, as a bit letter, you can see eh? uh, as a bit 23 dash 6, they stated that for all full freeway, uh, all rural freeway, Fn is 0. Okay, first you have to understand eh? for the speed of operations, we consider urban. Uh, area suburban area is 120 for this one but for fn that that particular area suburban to be a urban area so that particular uh, facilities to be targeted next futures or next um, in the futures to be uh, urban area so we cannot use this particular FN factor, number of blade to be rural, but consider as uh, urban. That's why you get 4.8. So if you refer as a bit 23-6, so number lane is 3 for the ratio because we consider 6 both. So we obtain this one, eh? 4.8. Okay, later you can refer this particular table. Eh? Okay, now we... Calculate the FFS is 0, uh, 100, 0, 107.1. Okay, the density is 16. Okay, if you refer the nomograph for level of service, then you can see. Eh? Uh, so, 16 consider C. Eh? 16 consider C. So, 16, if you refer nomograph, somewhere around here, eh? The borderline of the C eh, between 11 to 16. Okay, we take this uh, reverse base, it's C. Eh. You can still uh, uh, plot by refer to uh, speed and the flow rate. Eh. Then you can still get the same value. Eh. You can try. Eh. First, we get uh, the volume of adjustment volume eh, of uh, 1006, almost 1700. Eh. And density, no, the uh, free flow speed 107. Eh? Okay, you can still plot this one. Eh? Uh, I try to plot this one eh? to seek for your understanding. Okay, I try to plot this one. Okay, where is the line? Okay, uh, 107, eh? somewhere here, around here. Okay, let's put this way. Let's say this one, 107. Okay, and then the volume is set 1,000. 
1,000, 1,069, eh? 1,069, 1,069, remember again, the value, 1,069, okay, One thousand six nine, almost one thousand seven hundred. Eh? This one one thousand eight. One thousand. Okay, my my uh, line is not really straight. Eh? Okay, you can still op uh, obtain the value almost uh, perfect to line C. Eh? I have a problem with the, my my line. Eh? Okay, you can extend this value. Okay, then you still obtain exactly to maximum or borderline of C. Eh? Okay, you can refer this one later. Okay, that's why you obtain uh, level of C. Eh? If you look at density, the maximum range of C is 16. Eh? Okay, next uh, next problems. Okay, we have uh, three-way existing six lane in growing urban area. Following this information. Eh? Okay, we have 5,000 uh, volume, six lane. So, this means total lane, eh? not production. Eh? So, production to be three. Eh? Level train, 10% truck. Okay, next they have a different condition, eh? different situation. 5,600 production in three years. So after uh, the first uh, situation, they have uh, in the three year increase of the volume. Eh? Okay, beyond three year, so after three year later, uh, the traffic grows at 4%. Uh, okay, they, and they provide the measure speed is FFS. So they given already FFS, eh? nothing to do with calculation anymore because they give a fit measured value. Eh? Uh, okay, also they given a bit of factors. Okay, the first question, uh, what is the current number of space? Oh, you, you, you calculate can uh, calculate with the normal procedure. Okay, uh, no need to further uh, calculation for FFS eh? because they given the value. Okay, we obtain uh, the representative is D. Eh? Okay, next for uh, new situation we have to use this particular value um, uh, 5600 still you can obtain range of levels of D eh? okay but if you increase uh, three year beyond after three year later with four percent okay we understood that there is must uh, need eh, the, the the need for the extra additional lane which is fourth lane eh? This one is begin with three lane eh, per directions, but in the year of beyond three years later, so which is quarter after the quarter year later, they need to uh, add the fourth lane. Eh. Okay, this one you have to do analysis using uh, compounding uh, uh, analysis uh, for uh, okay, compound uh, which is. Uh, this one. okay. I just erase this one. Eh? Okay, this is the co-funding factors. Eh? Or oh, the formula extra formula. Eh? Okay. Um, future equal to present multiply by one plus r. Power n, so n here refer to this one, eh? the the period which is year, and eh? here I put the lighter, eh? make easier, eh? okay, and here refer to here solution, eh? okay, f uh, you can calculate from five uh, uh, five thousand six hundred and present. Uh, 5,000 eh? okay this one the scenario for future predicting value eh? for comp compounding factors eh? 
Okay, you can try uh, further for detail or for the rest calculation. I just give your end of the solution. Eh? Okay, next, this example. Okay, new urban facilities being planned for forecast opening AADT. Eh? AADT represent annual average daily traffic, eh? 75,000 a day. So the volume you have to convert to be hourly, hourly volume. Data we show. Eh? Okay, what is the minimum number of lane needed to provide at least number of level of switch D? Okay, what are the speed and density for that particular purpose number of lane? Okay, still this question requesting the number of lane eh, to be proposed. Eh? So extra before information, they have K factor. Further, we look what, what we're going to do with this K factor. Uh, the directional split, okay, 55 over 50, 45. Okay, uh, okay, FFS given, fit. Uh, rolling terrain and 10% try. Eh? Okay, to solve this particular uh, information, okay, we have to do this formula, eh? DDHV, directional distribution, hourly volume. So you have to convert from uh, daily volume to be hourly volume. Eh? That's why you have a K factor and D directional distribution. Eh? Okay, if you look directional distribution, okay, you we have to select 55 as a as a higher value. Eh? Sometimes they put in 60, 40. Sometimes they put uh, 55, 45. If let's say they put 55 here, okay, still we use 55 as the value, after greater value. Eh? Okay, almost select the greater value. Eh? Okay, 